Hey, what's up and welcome back everyone to the Iceman Isaac Academy, the second channel of the Warzone Academy dedicated specifically to coaching every single day. In today's gameplay, we're going to be taking a look at a new glitch that's in the game that uses the bird's eye perk. Metaphor basically discovered this. J-God did a video on it and I'm going to show you how you can use it to rack up more kills and keep track of the entire lobby. You guys know when I do a gameplay like this, I'm playing solo by myself, trying to get as many kills as I can and then working my way through an entire lobby. So if you guys enjoy the style of gameplay where I help you get better at Warzone, make sure to not only like the video, subscribe, but also join me live over on Twitch to be a part of the action. Once again, shout out to Metaphor for finding this video. He will be linked in the description. Without further ado, let's get into today's gameplay where we see how we can rack up more kills and how to rotate aggressively for more kills. Enjoy. All right, gunshots over here. You can't use your um, minimap anymore, but fortunately you can use your uh compass and the compass will give you decent enough info in terms of location so i heard the gunfight the guy challenging up there i saw he had like kind of the aggressive peeker's advantage on that first look but i'm just gonna try to go from a different angle Try not to show my laser to him, but... Nice. So that entire time, I'm trying to, like, shoulder here. He's trying to pre-fire me. I'm trying to bait out the pre-fires, and then I'll and I'll chow out while I'm pre-firing. I know I'm going to waste a couple bullets, but I'm basically just trying to guarantee that I win that gunfight. That's a good little player. Nice. Okay, we got 5k, so now we can go and force our sniper by. Normally, I'd go for UAV, but I want to get a lot of kills with the sniper, so... Let's, uh... Get the sniper in our hands. Once again, getting that, that compass up in your cross-check up at the top of your screen. I know there's gunshots in this direction. I don't know to what distance. But I can start to work it out. Doors open here. Probably in that building right there would be my guess. Oh, nope. They were short. And this building right here. that away got his cash and considering i didn't immediately get re-peaked by someone else he's probably last on this side so i can probably head over to the other area still keep my eyes open though i'm not the biggest fan of this smg i feel like it's like a m13 one of the very 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 few times ggs bro um Wait, Iceman Isaac. Yeah, better win that goose, brother. See you in the final circle. Bruh. <laughs> so what we're gonna do this game is we're gonna defuse the explosives and then since we already have the sniper that we want, we're gonna swap um to the default loadout and pick up Scout. Because there's a bug right now with Scout that allows us to um use other people's UAVs double checking this real quick to make sure okay that's just a it's just a bot allows us to use other people's UAVs as our own UAVs only bad thing about it is it tells everyone's direction as you can see like I can see the direction that everyone's facing which is sometimes good information but you also don't know what level they're on so that can sometimes get you killed and you can't tell if someone's a bot but we know since this guy's over here Wow. And even though we don't get the one-shot kill, we do have a fast enough follow-up to get the full kill there. Grab some of that. We'll grab the extra mortar strike. Actually equip that over it. We're going to go in and grab our sniper support, and we should be chilling. So those are all... It, 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 it really is unfortunate, because those are the same color now as actual people. But we'll make do. So the way that bug works is every time anyone on the map pops a UAV, I will now get their UAV. I don't think it's intended to be that way. But as you can see there, now all of a sudden I got someone else's UAV. Now I'm Moving. getting free info. So anytime anyone on the map, map pops a UAV, I get I get a free UAV. 
He's up top, I would assume. We also, I'm gonna mark that. Reds in the area. Top. He may have just gotten his head ripped off. Target mark. Request fire. Longbow three one. Target acquired. Strike it out. Impact. No hit. Nice. Get a free airstrike off him, more self revives, and we're in it. Unfortunately, there was someone up here <clears throat> in one of these buildings, but looks like they're. Oh my gosh. Go ahead and back off. Use the Simtex to build space. We heard glass break on the left. We know he didn't cross. He's still inside. He's probably going to break through that like a maniac. Nice reach out. So sometimes in this game, it's worth it to reach out. It's worth re-challenging like that because it takes so long to get your gun up. But you got slammed. All right, so we got a player up here. One shot, headshot, and a thirst. Normally, I would just leave him there, but I'm out of plates, so I need to go up there and get some plates off of him. I really don't need that many self revives, so I'll go ahead and drop. I'll drop one of them. Seven kills. Look, just all this UAV info, all this free UAV info. I can just hunt down this lobby. Um, I'll probably replace another one. So I know I saw a lot over here. Yeah, yeah, so probably get involved over there. Still two in that building, one up top. This guy might be on the roof, actually. He might be able to get a pick. Yep. Knock. I really hope that didn't land. Yeah, it landed on the far side, so we should be good. Got the double knock. Put down the mortar. Only bad thing about that mortar is it might push them into each other. Got this car rolling up behind me. No. Mm. Uh, inglés? What? Yes, of course. Oh, okay, cool. Come on, get up. Uh, are you gonna let me get all the way up? I'll drop you some money. No. I'll come back for you. I heard the full sprinting, so I thought he was still upstairs. So I'm thinking there's no way this guy is like running around like a maniac. Um. But he was. Especially considering they were playing so slow for so long. Bounce the smoke. I'm just gonna buy myself some time. Pick up a fresh lethal, get fully plated. Push through this with my teammate. Not sure where they are. Looks like they full wrapped us. Hit the reload. Looks like the Juggernaut's aggroing them, right? So, like, I'm chilling to watch that happen. And everyone have two lines of sight on me at the same time. Looks like that Juggernaut just aggroed on me. Crack that guy. 2v1, but we're running out of time. There we go. Ooh, got nervous, bro. That gulag, man. The timer runs out and it ends it even though you, everyone's still alive. Nice. Okay, we just got a huge opportunity here to go and get our loadout. We'll probably hit the far one. 
just because it's all open fields after this and I can go hit the buy closest to it. Hit this. Check to make sure I'm not getting pushed. Grab my sniper. And then now I'm going to put a ping not on it, but right next to it. That way if it disappears, I know where the other one is. But ideally, I can get over there, grab my sniper support. And in the meantime, I can start trying to kill people off it. Okay, so by me going here, it's triggered the actual event to happen. Which isn't the worst thing in the world, because what we can do is kill one bot or kill a couple bots until we get credit. And then we can get the uh, the scout. Once again, get the uh, infinite UAV. So kill that guy. Boom. Now collect your reward. Go to default loadouts. Pick up scout. And now we have my guns, but we have permanent scout. So all we have to do basically is wait for someone to pop their own UAV. And then I'll have a whole bunch of free info across the map. I see. Hostile UAV. Boom. We get a UAV. Oh, did this guy just run that guy over? He did? He got slammed! We're gonna go and grab extra plates. This is gonna be uh, probably a pretty ratty late game. Spending a lot of time on the outskirts, a lot of pick damage. Boom, we got another free UAV ping. Someone's hiding out in the oasis. Hopefully we can find them. I'm going to push aggressively up to this ridge line, and I should be able to peek over the oasis. Oh my gosh, he wrapped. He was close to me. Okay, and then we have two guys camping over in that compound with the LTV. All right, this guy's not safe inside of there. And now we get to hold them. Got a nice little head glitch. Constantly moving, just so I don't get headshot snipe. But hey, no longer a one-shot kill with headshot snipes. That may have been our culprit. There we go. Yep, that was him. We're looking for the for the name four. Okay, only ten people left alive. Looks like everyone's probably gonna be fighting in Rohan. We're gonna go and loot this guy though, just to see if he had any extra AR ammunition. Um, unfortunate, though, that we don't have a lot of sniper ammo. So I'm, I'm, I'm kind of holding my shots here. Would love to shoot at these guys. But I need to go work my way inside of here, kill this guy, and see if we can find ourselves. I may have just seen a guy right there. I did. Kind of perfect range for the sniper too if he if he challenges one of the lanes. Oh good win. I got stuck in the aim down sight. I thought I had a simtex. And then we just got stuck. Good shots on that guy's part. So hey. Oh, he's using... <gasps> no! I wanted to watch him. He seems like a demon. Unlucky. Unlucky. So, honestly, if I'm this guy, like, yes, I get playing in a vehicle, but you're just showing the entire world where you're at. It's really, really not worth it, especially in a chop top, because you're just going to get completely smacked out of it. This, I don't know if he has seven kills, so I don't know what he's doing. All right, out of place, but he has a gas mask. Runs right into the cluster. He needs to clear this out because there's definitely someone around here. But he's about to get caught into no man's land. This is what a lot of people do. They just have the gas to their back and they don't even think about where they rotate into next. Like he never even peeked like where his next piece of cover is. Fortunately, he has all this natural terrain in front of him, no one holding him, but that could have ended up really ugly. And like this. Play for info here. Like, try to try to get up, figure out where your opponents are. Just, just proning here until the gas hits you at your back isn't doing you any good. Presses in. This is a nice spot to chill out. He still doesn't have any place though. One v one v one. Gas is moving in. New safe zone located. 
But like here, he needs to be shouldering, getting information. The last thing he wants is someone just happen, like happening to roll up on him and then slamming him. He needs to catch players while they're, you know, unaware. That beeping is his suppression mine, but he has a gas mask. He could make a gas mask play here. Play the edge of the gas and shoot people in the back. Here's the coughing. But he's just... I just don't know. He's going to get beamed here. They don't see him. He's just hes just getting everything free right now. He spots the last one. He doesn't spot the last one. And now he has the gas to his back again. Not taking advantage of his gas mask. Maybe he'll wrap left. Otherwise, he's wrapping into a pre-aim. What am I watching? What am I watching here? Please don't die to the gas. The guy doesn't go for the thirst in the 1v1. Now he checks back. And that's the end. How is he so lucky? Brother, he was getting blessed. He was getting blessed. But the, bad, the sad thing is, he was like, Oh, I was so close. Dang it. Like, I was doing everything right. I got second place. Ah, we could have gotten first. Like, that entire time that he was shouldering there, like, in, instead of proning out and listening to his suppression mind, he could have been shouldering, gotten all the information and won that game. What's shouldering? It's where you just basically, like, put your shoulder around a corner so you can, like, see what's on the other side. You're not fully committing, like, like, uh, my camera, right? So I'm going to shoulder, right? So if, if I'm trying to see what's in my camera, I'm just going to go like this, right? I'm just barely going to, I'm not going to go, hey, what's up, guys? Like, I, I'm, I'm just barely, barely, barely showing myself, barely peeking. So that way, you know, I can get some information.